Hello there everyone in jamplay.com world. My name is Michael Nomad Rapol, AKA Nomad. And I'm here to teach you an entire course on rhythm and blues and funk guitar. Hope you have lots of fun. By the end of this series, you'll be able to play true bona fide rhythm and blues, R&B and funk guitar rhythm. Okay, we're talking about lots of little subtleties here, or nuances as I refer to them often. And these talk about all the little things that make up the techniques and how you execute them. You have to be real careful to pay attention to detail. couple things to remember. The first thing is you got to learn to forget. So in this series we're going to cover all the techniques and little tricks and licks and riffs that I'm going to show you, all right? But once you get them under your fingers, that muscle memory, you got to forget it and you got to let your heart and soul guide you. I know that might sound a little silly, but seriously, you have to let your intuition take over. It has to come from within. So learn the information and then throw it out the window play from the heart. So first things first, we're going to kick off with the concept of tools. Which tools do we need to get the job done? Next, we're going to jump into some of the genre specific techniques. In fact, they even have their own little unique names. Strummies. Chanks. Chugs. Skankin. Scratchin'. Curly cues. Scratch and stab. To get the most out of this series, there's some basic things that you really need to be familiar with. Let's talk about the notes on the neck. Definitely something that is helpful. So start to get familiar with that. Let's talk about scales. Your minor pentatonic, major pentatonic, and blues scales would be really helpful to get a good start. As well, some major scales, minor scales, and perhaps even some modes, such as the Dorian or the Mixolydian. Chords. It's really important that we know how to play chords in different positions on the neck within different inversions. So you might play a G chord here, or here, or here. It's important to know all that stuff. And aside from the obvious things such as posture and how to hold the guitar, let's talk about some basic strumming techniques. Be familiar with how to strum and just make nice patterns up and down with alternate strokes with your picking hand and also positioning of your left hand so that you can get the most out of each note you want to access. And of course we can't forget our picking technique. Some alternate picking and then when we're not actually picking, some great muting techniques both with the pick hand and the fretting hand. Throughout the course, I will reference some music theory. Not too much, but some basic things that you need to cover in order to get really immersed in each technique. All of these elements combined will prepare you to actually play in the genre confidently. Remember one thing, the most important thing, it's all about the groove. To put it in the words of the godfather of soul, Mr. James Brown himself, whatever you play, it's got to be funky. 